here we have true facts about land features. The first land feature we have are landslides. Landslides are the rapid movement of soil down a slope. They occur on slopes that are not steep enough for scree formation to take place. They can make quite a mess, as you can see. Here we have mud flow. Mud flow occurs when soil on a slope absorbs too much water. The soil then begins to flow downhill. As you can see here, it can get very, very messy. You do not want to be caught in the middle of that. Definitely do not want to get caught in the middle of that. Oh, look what we have here, a hotshot snowboarder who thinks he knows where it's at. Well, I got news for you, buddy. Boom! Avalanche. Try getting out of that. It just ate you alive. Holy crap. Okay. An avalanche occurs when a mass of snow or ice breaks away and slides down a mountain slope. This land feature is a form of nature saying, I'm better than you. And as you can see, nature never lies. Run away, skiers. Ski away. As fast as you can. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Here we have scree laid out on the sides of the road. Scree are piles of rock that have fallen down a slope to the base. Whoa, who, who are you? <laughs> um, I was just explaining scree, but okay, anyways. Moving on to U and V-shaped valleys. V-shaped valleys are formed by youth stage rivers cutting a V-shape into a valley. U-shaped valleys form when a glacier moves through a V-shaped valley and erodes the sides. As you can see here, the young river has cut a V-shaped valley. There's just something about that water that makes me want iced tea. Wes, give me some iced tea right now. Okay, I can do that. Thanks. Here are young rivers. Young rivers are fast moving and often have rapids in them. As we can see here, these rafters are in for a ride. Using the, ra the rapids to their advantage. Taking a ride in their little raft. Oh, t holy crap, did that guy just fall out? Oh man, um, he's gone. He's, there's nothing we can do about him. Yeah. The next river stage is known as the mature stage. In this stage, the river moves slowly and begins to meander. The third stage of the river stage stages is known as the old stage. In this stage, the river has reached such level plains that the meandering is extensive. Egyptfootage.com? Wes, did you download this from a website? You know that's illegal? We can get sued. Okay, this is pirated, man. Not good. Meanders occur in level plains. It is when the river forms a rounded zigzag pattern, as you can see here. Now imagine yourself floating down a meander. Nice, calm, pleasant meander. Now stop, we got more features to cover. This is an example of ice fall. Ice fall is when ice falls. That's it. I don't know what else you were expecting. This occurs when glaciers reach a major drop off or cliff. Their ice begins to fall off. And as you can see, they can create pretty large waves. Now imagine yourself standing on the edge of your desk, just your tippy toes. Now fall off. That is how an ice fall do. Here we have moraines. Moraines are deposits of rocks left behind by glaciers after they melt. Here is a crevice or as some people call it, a crevasse. These are large cracks in the glacier caused when the glacier moves over uneven land and has to bend and break to form cracks in the glacier. That's how it goes. What a gutsy glacier climber, ice climber guy, climbing through a glacier. This has been Land Features by Wes and Cole. Thank you.
stop, stop, stop. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, okay, shut up, I'm still recording. Exploding iceberg! Exploding iceberg! <coughs> Imploding iceberg! Imploding iceberg! Imploding iceberg! Okay, we're good.